now that we have all the um, um, proper applications installed on our computer, we have Git, we have Tortoise Git installed, and we have uh, uh, our account created on uh, um, GitHub, and we have Putty installed on our computer. We are ready to tie all these things together so they can work with each other. To be able to access GitHub and be able to access private repositories back and forth, you need to uh, create a common key between the two, uh, common SSH key between uh, the two platforms, your computer and GitHub. To create that, re uh, to add that uh, key to GitHub, log into your GitHub account. Okay, I'm already logged in. Um, go to the section of your profile right over here and click on settings. Then scroll down and click on SSH and GPG keys. Now, if you were doing this with me during the class and the SSH key we created was unsuccessful, remove all the SSH keys that you have. If you see any list over here for the keys that you are not using, delete them all so we don't get confused. So this is the place that we are going to, to be. Click on new SSH key. And this is going to come up. So leave the screen to be here. Minimize the browser so we can come back to here later. So then uh, uh, click on your uh, uh, start button and type putty gen. Okay, you may have different versions of putty gen over here. Um, to see actually which one you are dealing with, click on open file location and make sure the one that you have is inside Tortoise Git directory. Okay, so use the putty gen that is coming with Tortoise you have another one inside the party directory with, uh, that is the latest version that is not going to work and just to make sure that you are using the correct party gen just execute it from here and go to help and click on about this should be release 0 0.74 i'm going to click on close now we want to create a key to sh to to install that key on our machine and our github account so select the ECDSA key over here and lead, leave the uh, uh, the curve used for the generating the key as by default what it is so it's NISTP256 let that be click on generate and move your mouse around the uh, uh, box area over here it's going to create the key for you if the computer that you have is not a public computer it is your own computer that's password protected. Uh, don't put a passphrase over here because it's going to be bothersome later on. You keep has to you have to keep adding that passphrase to be able to go back and forth with Git. So I'm going to leave it empty, and then save this private key inside your SSH directory. Now, where the SSH directory should be, open up this PC, open up the local. Uh, uh, um, drive for the local drive for the uh, for the uh, operating system click on users and find out which user you are logged in with if you want to know which user you're logged in with it's right in here so you actually can see what is the user that you're logged in with uh, so the user is um, fart over here at phard that's my user I'm gonna go in there it should be in a directory called dot SSH if it doesn't exist click on new folder here and create it so I'm just gonna delete this one and recreate it so you click on new folder and then type over here dot SSH so this dot SSH is where you want to save your uh, key in double click on it and open it and then for the file name over here type a name so you know which one it is so I'm gonna call over here github key okay leave the extension B it's gonna automatically put PPK for it save it you can save the public key too in case it's gonna be used for anything so click on save public key and type the exact same name but remove the PPK and instead type pub over here so you know that's the public key so for the public key you have to put the extension manually yourself 
github pub and click on save and that's the public key that is safe then now this is your key in text format as you see right click on it click on select all and then right click on it again and click on copy so you actually copied the key into the clipboard now now maximize the screen that you had the browser that you had with your SSH key open put a title over here and put the name of the computer that you have the key in so say uh, for me it's my office desktop so I'm gonna say office demo VM because it's a virtual machine I am working at so this I will remember later on where this key is coming from then I click over here and simply right click and paste the key so this becomes the key that is going to be on github click click on add ssh key and the key is now on github so now uh, you have the key both on github and on your local computer and you can use it later on with tortoise git to actually clone repositories to test it and see if it works or not go to the op244 GitHub uh, organization, OP244, GitHub organization. So go to OP244, GitHub organization, depending, or OP345, if you are in OP345 class of mine. Then go to the notes that we have. So this is the notes that I have for the uh, for the class, uh, for the classes that I'm going to have. Click on that repository click on code and then click on SSH so by clicking on code and then clicking on SSH the path that you're gonna have over here is gonna be the SSH path for your git for the git repository that you want to clone click on the copy button over here so button is copied so it's gonna copy this path into the clipboard now go back to your uh, uh, Windows Explorer and find some place that you want to have your OP244 OP345 uh, uh, information saved so I'm gonna create a new directory over here I'm gonna call it OP244 and if you're in OP345 type over here OP345 and then open it now remember that we copied this path SSH path in the clipboard so that is copied into the clipboard I'm gonna to go to the uh, uh, Windows Explorer right click in that blank area that I want to clone the repository from github which essentially means copying that repository and bringing it in into github I right click and I'm gonna click on git clone when I click on git clone this because you just installed it in here it's showing something but for you it's going to be blank so click over here load party key then right click as uh, then click on this three dots over here and find the key you actually created right now so click on that and click on open therefore anytime as of now you want to deal with github this key will be negotiated by github therefore it's gonna get the information out of it so I'm gonna click on OK and as you see there you go everything is done without any problem and now I have cloned the repository that is on uh, github on this machine if you don't see this green uh, signs on the uh, icons these these means that these are updated uh, and there are no changes in here uh, if you don't see it you just restart your computer and those are going to take effect and this summarizes installing a key on github and your local computer to be able to clone things back and forth